For those that are still holding GameStop, the stock is absolutely soaring right now. We're closing in on $80 per share, up over 75% on the day. Absolutely loving these gains right now. And is this the beginning of the short squeeze? Is this the moment that everybody's been waiting for? Can these gains continue? Is this just the beginning or really what's going on here? If this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. We're going to grow our portfolios together, and we're just going to grow together. Now, if you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, become a bro, and let's grow together. All right, now we all know the story and everything surrounding GameStop and Wall Street bets and the Reddit and like what's going on with this whole thing right now. Now, there's plenty of videos on this channel and plenty of videos on YouTube explaining what short squeezes are, what short selling is. So a brief introduction if you're not exactly familiar, if you're just jumping into the game, but I'm sure you've heard about GameStop right now or by now. So short selling is when you sell a position at the price right now, expecting to buy it back at a lower price later. Now, we all know that all of the hedge funds and big institutional uh, investors were doing this. They were selling this stock, their stock, driving the price lower and expecting to buy it back at a later date. Well, Wall Street bets, they said no. Everybody went in and the craze began. Now, we saw a lot of regulation coming out of places like Robinhood and brokers and market makers, and things got confusing, and a lot of retail investors got scared, closed out of the positions, and we saw the stock drop from around 400 and some dollars all the way down to $40 per share, but today we're back up to almost $80 per share going into the close on extremely high volume. So this is great news. Is this the moment we've all been waiting for? Is everybody who's been holding out going to be rewarded? rewarded with the short squeeze and with all of the gains that come from it. And maybe if you're not in GameStop right now, could the same thing happen with AMC? I know that's a question on everybody's minds because AMC is trading up around 10% right now. So could we be seeing the same thing with this stock? Is the movement dead? I'm going to say absolutely not. A lot of people got scared, but a lot of people are still holding as well. So I want to know right now, does anybody else have diamond hands out there? Were you able to hold through the storm and weather the storm and keep your shares of GameStop and keep your shares of AMC? when everybody else was saying you're crazy when everybody else was saying the movement's dead these stocks are dead why would you invest in something that you know has nothing going on for them and the fundamentals aren't there let me know down in the comments below right now if you held on if you've got diamond hands if you're experiencing these gains like a lot of people are right now i'm super excited i love to see this stuff happen and i love to see it i don't want to say you know when people stick it to wall street or when they stick it to the man but it's absolutely exciting to see things play out the way they were intended to play out. And I know a lot of people are going to be wondering, you know, is this the beginning? Is it still time to get, is there still time to get into GameStop? Is there still time to get into AMC? Look, uh, GameStop just switched out their CFO yesterday. They, they, the current CFO quit. And there's a lot going on, okay? There's a lot going on with the fundamentals of that company, but there's a lot of people who like the stock, right? I mean, there's a lot of people out there saying, I like the stock, and it's a good thing to invest in. Well, it's, it's very simple to see that the gains are exciting. There's going to be people jumping into it as the price moves higher and as the hype surrounds this company, and really this may be the blast off, right? So you have to ask yourself as an investor, is this something I'm willing to stomach? Am I willing to stomach the move up, potentially a profit-taking move back down? And look, treat it as, you know, look at the historical graph just from last month or the last couple of months. If the volatility wasn't something that you think you'd be able to stomach, it's okay. You know, you don't have to get in. You don't have to buy the stock. But if the volatility is okay with you, or if you're not willing to risk so much money that you're not going to be able to sleep at night, why couldn't this be the start of the same thing we saw last month? You know, why couldn't we be able to see? Because look, the stock was trading at $70 per share, and then next day it went up to $150, pulled back to about $70 again, and then shot up to $300. 
I mean, the volatility was there, but the gains were there to be made as well. So you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. I can't determine whether or not you're going to be able to stomach the volatility or whether or not, you know, you like the stock too. But it's something to think about moving forward because GameStop is absolutely, it stepped on the rocket, guys. It stepped on the rocket. It's on its blast off phase. And we really need to see what happens here and how this plays out. Obviously, we could have some people taking profits, thinking and being worried like, oh, yeah, I got in at $100 per share. I've been waiting for this moment just to get my money back. But then there's going to be a lot of other people out there that are like, well, this is the moment we've been waiting for. They have to cover the shorts right now. They have to cover these positions. And if we hold out and we hold on, like the original plan said, this stock price could go to the moon. Now, look, let's talk about AMC, too, because the stock's up around $8, a little bit above $8 per share right now, up 10% on the day, and we were trading around $5 per share just a couple days ago. So could we be seeing the same thing happen with AMC? Could the price return to $20 per share? Absolutely, it could. What's to stop the stock price from going up? There was a lot of people who missed out on the opportunity last month. You know, people think like, Last month was a long time ago. They start to forget what happened just a couple weeks ago, and the hype is going to come back. The hype can just it can uh, envelop people and make them want to say, oh, I missed out on the first opportunity, but I'm not going to miss out on this second opportunity. So if I see this stock price moving up, it could be an excellent time to get in because I could double my money. We could see this stock price go back up to $20 per share in AMC maybe even higher this time. You know, there's going to be a lot of people who didn't jump on before that could jump on this time and really it could drive the stock price even higher. So let us know if you guys are still holding AMC too. I really want to see everybody in the comments below throwing up those diamond hands because look, those diamond hands, yeah, you may have had to pull and ride that stock price back down a little bit, but this could be the moment we've all been waiting for and we could really see these stock prices blast off from here. So let us know down there, guys, if your diamond hands are finally about to pay off if you believe in these stocks if you like this stock right because i like this stock everybody knows what that means by now this is these are probably the two most famous companies in the world because if you go back and you look at the other videos that we've done on it you can see that these the, these movements really they're not just investments in a company anymore but you can see that the movement is worldwide everybody wants to see this happen Everybody can jump on it, and really, the upside is unlimited. So, guys, start a conversation down in the comments below. Inspire us with your gains. Let us know how you've been doing, if you've been doubling down, if you've got those diamond hands, if you're going to hold the line, and really where these gains could go. And if you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, become a bro, and let's grow together. And look, if you're brand new to investing or you haven't started investing, yet or you're thinking about trading your brokerage account there's a link in the description below for Weeble it's super simple to set up your account you're gonna get a couple of free stocks along the way for doing so obviously you can trade GameStop obviously obviously you can trade or trade AMC there so if you're interested in this kind of stuff go ahead sign up for Weeble you're not gonna regret it and if you want to share this video you can do so almost anywhere tag me at clay bro so I can follow you guys back there see what everybody's interested in and until the next time guys I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.